Thanks to All Recipes member C.D. Cooks for this down-home, old-school mac and cheese recipe that is just like Grandma used to make. Nothing says comfort food quite like mac and cheese. To begin, bring a large pot of lightly salted water to a boil. Cook one and three-fourths pounds of whole wheat elbow macaroni in the boiling water, stirring occasionally until al dente, about eight minutes. And then drain. In a saucepan over medium-low heat, melt three-fourths cups of butter. Slowly add three-fourths cups of flour to the butter and whisk constantly, cooking until brown, about five minutes. Then whisk in one cup of milk until fully incorporated. Then repeat this twice, using one cup of milk each time. Add three more cups of milk to the sauce, whisking until fully mixed. Add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of mustard powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Season to taste with salt and freshly ground black pepper, and whisk to combine. Reduce the heat to low and continue whisking the sauce until it begins to thicken, about 10 minutes. Add half of an eight ounce package of shredded cheddar cheese. We're using sharp cheddar. Whisk continually until the cheese melts completely. Now add the remaining shredded cheddar cheese and three eight ounce packages of American cheese, a little at a time continuing to stir until fully incorporated. Then remove the sauce from the heat. Pour the cheese sauce over the drained macaroni noodles and stir to coat. Divide the cheesy macaroni between two 9 by 13 inch grease baking pans. Other baking dishes work well here too. In a bowl, add one 8 ounce bag of crushed potato chips, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and one third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle over the macaroni and spray the top with butter flavored cooking spray. Bake in the preheated oven until the crust is golden brown and the sauce is bubbling, 35 to 40 minutes. All Recipes member Four Family says this old school mac and cheese is definitely a keeper. It was so good and creamy. Thanks for a yummy recipe and for putting me in comfort food heaven.